grasp the gown just below the neckline and lift it up and away from the sterile field without touching the gloves or the blue outer wrapper. Take one step back from the sterile field. Keeping the inside of the gown facing you, find the armholes and insert your hands into each armhole. Spread your arms outward and allow the gown to unfold. Advance your hands into the sleeves by pushing them horizontally and outward until your fingertips reach the white cuff. The circulator can assist you by grasping the inside of the gown and securing the back. Your fingertips must stay inside the white cuff within one inch from the opening. Begin closed gloving by grasping the appropriate glove package with your cuffed hands. Do not let your fingertips extend through the cuff opening at any time. Open the gloves just like you would open a book. Keeping your hands cuffed, grasp the two center edges staying on the outside of the package. Pull the package open and pop it to keep the package in the open position. Keeping your arms out in front with elbows bent, grasp the cuff of your left glove with your right cuffed hand. Lay the glove thumb side down with your fingers pointed towards the elbow. Take a step back. Grasp the bottom side of the cuff with your fingers of the hand being gloved. Make sure your fingers stay within the cuff. Using your right hand, grasp the top side of the cuff and pull it up and over the hand and then down the arm while extending your fingers into the glove. Repeat to glove your right hand. Once you have both gloves on, pull back on the blue sleeves to remove any wrinkles or folds. Don't pull too far. You have to keep the white cuff underneath the glove. Discard the glove package by grasping the center of the inside of the package. Wad it into a more manageable size while being careful not to touch the edges of the package. To double glove, Pick up the first glove at the cuff edge and advance your fingers into the glove. Repeat this process for the second hand. Discard the glove package by grasping the center of the inside of the package. Wad it into a more manageable size while being careful not to touch the edges of the package. Turn and face the circulator. Be careful that you do not turn your back to the sterile field. Grasp the tag with your right hand and the tie on the left side with your left hand. Pull the tag on the left side out of the tag with your left hand while still keeping hold of the tag in your right hand. Extend the tag to the circulator, making sure your hand is on the back end of the tag. Once the circulator has a firm grip, release the tag and turn in a counterclockwise motion one full turn. Transfer the left tie to the right hand and then grasp the long tie with your left hand. Pull the tie from the tag and tie the strings in a bow. Now that you have gloved and gowned accordingly to the principles of a septic technique, you can safely approach your back table. Since we have glove packages that extend beyond the sterile perimeters, it will be necessary to remove the items. To maintain sterility, only touch the part of the package that is firmly on top of the back table and not the part that extends past the edge. Push the gloves off the sterile field and grasp the hand towel for preparation for gowning and gloving the surgeon. Fully extend the hand towel. This time, there is no need to worry about where to touch. You are sterile and the towel sterile, therefore there is no risk for contamination. Lay one end of the towel over the hand that the surgeon extends toward you, being careful not to make contact with the surgeon's bare hand. Let go and let the long end of the towel fall between the surgeon's two hands. While the surgeon is drying their hands, obtain his or her gown from the back table. You'll want to grasp the gown and turn it so the inside of the gown faces the surgeon. Open the gown and let it unfold. The outside is now facing you. Put your hands below the shoulder area and allow the top part of the gown to fold back over your hands. This forms a wide cuff that will cover your hands to prevent any cross-contamination. 
Position the gown so that the person you are gowning can easily insert his or her hands into the armholes. As the surgeon inserts his or her arms into the armholes, push the gown past their elbow and up to their shoulders. Let go and step back. After determining which hand is to be gloved first, remove it from the glove package. An additional step that may be necessary is to assist the surgeon in pulling back his or her sleeve to expose their hands. To do this gently, grasp the blue sleeve and tug towards the elbow until their hand is exposed. Orient the glove so that the thumb of the glove is facing the surgeon. While keeping it spread open as wide as possible, extend the glove towards the surgeon. The surgeon will put his or her hand into the glove. Make sure the glove covers the white cuff of the gown fully before letting go. Don't let go so quickly or the surgeon will get popped like a rubber band. Repeat the process for the other glove. When you're gloving the second hand, the surgeon will more than likely assist in the process by grasping the glove cuff opposite from you and pulling before sliding the glove on. Retrieve the second pair of gloves for double gloving and repeat the process once more. Assist the surgeon in turning the gown by grabbing the tip end of the tag that has been presented to you. Then, once the surgeon has turned, pull the tag off and discard it. Now that the case is over, you can remove your own gown and gloves. Some surgical technologists remove the outer pair of gloves to make this process easier. Remove the first pair of gloves by grasping the palm of the glove with your opposite hand. Pull the glove off. This will turn the glove inside out as it is removed. While keeping the removed glove in your gloved hand, slide your bare fingers inside the cuff of the gloved hand. Roll the gloved hands off your hands and dispose of both gloves into a biohazard waste receptacle without touching the outside of the gloves. The circulator can assist by untying the gown. Grasp the outside of the gown at shoulder level and roll the gown down and away. This rolls the gown inside out as it slides over your gloved hands. Roll the gown so that the contaminated outside faces in and discard it into a biohazard waste container. On the following procedures, an alcohol-based antimicrobial lotion can be used in place of the brush scrub. There are several agents available for use. Avagard is the agent used in most of our clinical sites. If there is any questions regarding the technique for application, read the label. Begin by squirting two milliliters, which is about the size of a dime, of lotion into the palm of one hand. Dip the fingertips of the opposite hand into the lotion and work it under the nails for 10 seconds. With the remaining lotion in the palm of the hand, rub it circumferentially on the opposite arm from wrist to elbow. Repeat the process on the other side. Pump another two milliliters of lotion into the palm of either hand and rub the lotion into both hands up to the wrist. Keep rubbing until all liquid has been absorbed and the skin is no longer tacky. Any liquid left on the skin can become a fire risk when using the electro-surgical unit.